Alright, what's up broke boys? My name is Dear and welcome back to another episode of Man on the Internet Reviews of Product or Service. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the Netflix original series, The Rain. This series uh, comes out of some Dutch country. It's dubbed, but I don't really have a count on how many people that pisses off because, I don't know, I'm fine with it, but I'm, I'm sure it pisses someone off. Anyways, so we're reviewing this because although Netflix is known for putting out some uh, great content, that's heavy sarcasm by the way, Netflix isn't known for putting out great content. Anyways, every once in a while you'll get a diamond in the rough, and uh, while I don't quite think this is a diamond, I do think that it warrants a bit of a review. Uh, so, basically, we start out, we're going, and... It gets right to the action in, you know, season one, episode one. There's only one season. doesn't really matter if it's that season or not. Whatever. They get right to the action. The plot starts right away. And it's, you know, as it says on the screen, a deadly virus spread by rainfall forces siblings, Simone and Rasmus, to seek refuge. Uh, they immediately go to an underground bunker. You know, a bunch of stuff happens. They lose their family. They're the only ones in the bunker. Uh, they spend a few years there and get out. Obviously, there wouldn't be much of a season if they didn't get out of the bunker. That's not a spoiler. But it isolates the characters quickly. The characters are in a society, uh, and then the characters are placed into isolation in a bunker. When they get out of the bunker, there's not really... Well, there are only the survivors of the world so they're still really characters in isolation they only have each other they only have you know a small group so they play this isolation and group mentality and it's uh it's a pretty i don't want to call it basic because the plot is very good uh but it's a basic survival uh sort of plot you have a survivor group you learn about the characters their relationships their backstories uh, and it's all really well done. It's all very interesting. Uh, I like most of the characters. Uh, I understand their motivations, and uh, I kind of support their I'll, I support their journeys. So it gets a uh, right start to go at it is so the world feels really hopeless, and the the one ray of hope is sort of. Rasmus and Simone trying to find their dad. And it's all done really, really well up until the very end when they change the entire story of what we're looking at. Uh, they have the story set up one way, and then in like the final two or three episodes, they change it. And they drop these like completely like world shattering like truths on us that literally just change everything we thought about the world and how everything's going. And it really seems like they only did it to, like, set up a season two. Uh, they destroyed all the build-up they had and, you know, end it with driving off into the distance. And it's supposed to be hopeful, but it's not. There's really, there's nothing else they can do and it, they just kind of just push it forward for no reason. Uh, it really should have ended on season one. There's not a lot left to go. So I'm just going to kind of wrap that up and get to... Uh, I would give... I'm going to split this into two. I think I'm going to give like the first... I don't know. Before they start dropping world-ending truths on you, I'm going to give all that like an 8 out of 10 because it's really well done. I was riveted on this series. I watched it all in like one or two days. You know, late nights, binging, the whole the whole deal. And then I got to the final one, and I have to say, the final one, the final episodes are awful. They're terrible. I don't like any of the characters' decisions. I don't like their actions. Well, it's less about the characters and more about the writing. But, yeah, I don't like what happens in the final episode. The final episode's got to be, like, a 3 out of 10. Uh, or the final episodes, I don't really remember exactly when it stops but uh yeah